So we're here at Gary Lang's fish room. The first thing you see when you walk down to the basement is this giant, what is it, a seven foot tank? Seven foot tank, 210 gallons. Far out. It's an awesome aquarium. It's got heaps of rainbows in here. Well, pretty much the fish that are in this tank are sort of the old old uh, widows and uh, the old males that, that show up from the other tank. If I've got too many males, they end up in here. It's a planted tank, as you can see. I've got CO2 on it. Um, I used to do a whole lot of stem plants and everything, and now I've pretty much just got uh, different types of java fern in there and some of the, some of the lilies. Um, Heaps of crypts and yeah, lots of, lotus. Lots of crypts. There's also this that kind of tiny creeping yeah, there's Yeah, well. there, that's... that's um, that's one of the Marsal Marsalias, uh, so it's not the four-leaf clover, but, uh, but one of the other t types. They don't have a species name on it yet, mm -hmm. or at least Chris, Kristen Castleman says it's not a species. They don't have an official name for it. Yeah. Got different odds and ends fish that, that I don't hate keep anymore. Um, got like a giddy, giddy river rainbow fish there. That's a nice fish. Um, I've got a couple of old Herbert axelrods in there that you know, too many males, so you got fish like that, and the one up from it, that's, it's kind of a geriatric uh, glare eye, so, you know, fish that are old and stop breeding, I, I still don't want to kill them, I put them in here, and and, and they live out their lives that way. Um, you, know, you can see where they all hang a, out, it's near the flow. Yeah, they, 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 they hang out near me, too, yeah. there's some centeniensis here, so they've got the nice short fins on top, so you can see the, I lost the female, so we have only got males. Else to deal with, um, and just odds and ends. And some of those, it's like once you once you see them in the tank, it's like what what fish is that? I'm not not exactly quite sure sometimes. Mm -hmm. So it's 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 hard. Some of the bentuni rainbows look an awful lot alike. So it's hard it's hard to really tell. But uh, but you know it's just you know a lot of lights on the tank. Um, like like a lot of things. I, I like my crinum my crinum colostrum. Um, she used to put up a, a flower like every once or twice a year, so it hasn't been for a while. So I need to do a little bit more fertilization. I'm not a uh, I'm not a aquascaper. I'm a aqua farmer. So <laughs> I just kind of grow things here and there and everywhere. So it's so natural. It makes, oh, I love it it. makes a mess. So, no, I reckon. I reckon it's but, good. It's awesome. How many How many fish do you reckon are actually in this tank? I don't know. Maybe maybe 50, 60, something like that. So yeah, it's not too many, but. Uh, but uh, I, I abuse this tank, which, which, as you can see, the water levels up a little bit down. So it's, it's about three weeks from a water change. So it, mm -hmm. it really needs a good water change. I've got a really nice filter on there, an FX5. <clears throat> so it does a pretty good job of filtering it. And the plants do a good job, so the nitrates are always decent. Um, and things don't get too, too far out of control with this yeah. tank. So. Oh, I you... actually noticed this before. I was going to ask you about it, but we're talking... There is a, um, a, is it a crested java fern out of the water as well? It's like, oh yeah, the, he's yeah. just chilling on there. Uh, uh, oh Fire. yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it grows, it grows on the filter. So every once in a while, I pull a chunk off and, and sell it. But yeah, it, 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 it hangs on that stuff, and it's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I love it. It's been a long, a long time since I had this plant. It probably should be reset, but it's like. You know, a seven-foot tank. Do you really want to reset a seven-foot tank? It's like, nah. I'll just. That's why I've got some more easy plants growing in here versus some of the tough ones. Yeah. I also used to have 600 watts of compact fluorescence on here. Really. Now I have 200 watts of, of LEDs from Build My LED, and plus I've still got one power compact on there. So. Yeah. It just doesn't do near the good of job. I really need a, uh, another comp, um, LED on there. It doesn't do as good as it used to. So, but the 600 watts was really running up my electric bill. That was as much as my fish, my other fish room was almost. Really? So, yeah. I enjoy growing plants, but at the same time, you know, they're there to make the fish happy. So, mm -hmm. sure. And, 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 you know, I sell them in the swaps and the auctions and people, people like the plants and get an enjoyment out of the plants. And Are some of these fish them. in here ones you've collected? Yeah, there's, there's a few that we've collected. Um, Oh, some of the Bentuni rainbows. Uh, I'll try to find out. That's that's one of the Bentuni rainbows. So so not very interesting rainbows. Mm -hmm. from, from we call that Kali Sumut. Sumut. Um, it, it, that Sumut was a bust. You know, some <laughs> sometimes you get these rainbow fish. You go, ah, this is interesting. And the original, I swear, 
um, that that creek must have had two different species in it because we've really? had a very interesting with a red tail and an interesting fish and then these guys came out of that and is either that or the wholesaler uh, gave us the wrong fish and I, I really think it's probably two fish the more I think about it because we keep finding more and more two Melanotanias in the same stream because we found that fish and said oh this is really good and Samut was a ma made up name um, Normally we have a native somewhere in the area and say, what's the name of this creek? And we write it down, mm -hmm. do the GPS on it. <clears throat> For Kali Samut, <clears throat> it was, there was ants crawling across the log. And when they would fall into this little hole, uh, you know, it's right where the rainbows would come up. So it, and ants are the, the Indonesian name for, for ant is Samut. So we call it, call it Ant Creek. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, but, but I even, I even do this silly video where I'm sitting there going, just, just like the English guy. And now here we are in the wild of the Indonesia and the <laughs> ants are falling in the water. Yeah, David Attenborough and <laughs> the ants are falling. But, but literally the ants would fall off and they, boom, the rainbows and yeah. there's the whole school of them. So we took our little net. This creek was only two foot two foot wide at the most, three foot wide. You know, try to scoop up as many rainbows as we could to come up with those. And we got them home and it's like, yeah, yeah, what, what a boring fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so sometimes that happens. Most most of the time, the fish are pretty interesting, and most of the times we get a good adult say, "Oh, we want this fish," but uh, but that one uh, that one was kind of a bust. So so all the, all the fry ended up here. We took some back. Some got got sent to Europe just recently, but uh, but that way they can look at them and go, "Yep, they're boring." <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's an awesome tank. Yeah, yeah, it, it's a nice tank to watch and and see all the fish. And there's a lot of old fish in here, but I can't, I can't really put them out to pasture, so. It seems like once a rainbow fish decides that something's there, even if I put a small rainbow fish in there, I say, oh, it's there, I, I don't want, it's not food, I don't want to eat it, because you yeah. can see some of those fish that are only like an inch or two long. Yeah. <clears throat> and I've got a tetra in there also that, 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 that breeds, and also, yeah, that little bitty one that you're taking a picture of there, that's <laughs> one of the, one of the fry that show up in that tank, so. Oh, really? So they, yeah. they kind of do breed in here. Yeah, they do, and you know, when they get to a certain size, then they're not food anymore, and they recognize they're not food, and they leave them alone. But otherwise, you know, rainbows are rainbows, and they'll eat anything. Yeah. You stick your arms in there, and you, you're losing hairs off your <laughs> arms because they're, they're yanking on your hairs. <laughs> yeah. So, no, I noticed yeah. when we went to this place called Amazon Spheres, they, you think, oh, well, I guess they could breed in there, but there's so many fish in that tank, I can't see how they could. But it's because it's like a massive like diversity of plants that they can all hide, and yeah. somehow it works. So I guess it would work in the wild, similar. But I had I had diamond tetras in here for for many years ago, and and those would always it pop up out of the out of the you know the plants, and once they got to a certain size, everybody left them alone. But mm. I'm sure when they were small, they were just like brine shrimp and <laughs> eat them. <laughs> well, I guess it's a food source for them too. Yeah. Oh, well, thanks so much for showing us this thing. Shall we go on to the more spectacular stuff? Well, let's do it. <laughs> let's get to the fish room.